Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm bringing you guys the part 2 of my business card making series where I'm going to show you guys how I print and cut double-sided business cards using my Cricut. Sorry it took so long. I recently learned how to record on my screen and I also got a mic so I can talk at the same time. I had to record this three times but I feel like it was so much worth it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Here I have Canva. It's the same page we were at the last time. I have made my front of the card, the back of the card. And I did make loyalty cards, but we're not going to use those today, so just these two. Right here on Canva, we can go ahead and just click right in the corner here. And we're going to select to download. The file type, I want to download this as a PNG. And I only want to keep pages 1 and 2 since I'm not going to use the loyalty cards right now. So there, I've selected pages 1 and 2. Done. And now we can download. From here, we can click on our file and we have our two cards. Now moving on to Cricut here, I have opened a new page and I'll be uploading my cards. I'm just going to upload image, browse. Here is my first card, so I'm just going to click on it. I always use complex, I don't know why, but we're just going to continue and save it as a print and cut image. And upload. Next, we're going to upload our back of the card, so we're going to go and upload image 2 and continue. Apply and continue and save as a print and cut. Now that we have both of our images in our upload section, we just click both of them and add to canvas. From here, we have to work on one card at a time, so I'm just going to go over here on the side and hide one of the cards. Now that we have a card, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, but the size doesn't really matter yet. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I like to use the grids that are already right here on Cricut Design Space, and I like to just align everything. Like this, so this is straight and straight. And that way I can space my cards as evenly as I can, which is the trick to doing double-sided cards. So I'm just going to duplicate it. And again, following those grids, I'm going to put it as close as possible, but also on the grid. Just like that. So I'm just going to select both of them, align at the top to make sure they're as aligned as possible. Then I like to group them to make sure that I don't lose the even space between them two. And I duplicate. Once again, we're just going to follow the grids and put it right below. As evenly as you possibly can. From there, I'm going to align again. On the left. That way they're a little bit more even. And I'll continue on. Now I can select both of these, duplicate, and again do the same thing. And align. And I'm just going to add one more row here, so I'm just going to duplicate this last row. Now that I have my whole page done, I'm just going to align it all together one last time to make sure everything is as even as possible. And I will be attaching this. So now it's attached and nothing is moving. So now that this is attached, um, I'm just going to put it to the side for now. So I'm going to hide it over here. And I want to enter the other card that's the back of the card. Here we are going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to use the grids and line them as best as I can. If you guys have ideas or any ways to make this easier, please let me know. This is all I've got so far. Now that I have this attached and the other one attached, I can bring both pages out. And here I have both pages. Now I'm going to enter a square and make it the size of my printing area, which is 6.75 by 9.25. Right here. And now these cards just have to fit right on it. So I'm going to send to the front and right on the edge here. And just make it as big as you can before it comes out the page. Something like this. And this is about 6.2 by 9.132. So I'm going to make this side the same size as this one. Okay, so this one is 6.2 by 9.072. And this one is 6.2 by 9.132. So there is something off and... 
to make them as close together as possible they both have to be the same so what we do is unattached and try to like make them match a little bit better so what i did here i unattached everything and then i'm just going by the rows since we've grouped sideways this is one group this is one group this is another group we could just select it and align at the bottom and just keep going up the row and align at the bottom and this should give us an even space so let's see if that worked and moment of truth this is 6.2 by 9.13 and 6.2 by 9.13 okay so this is basically what we want we want them both to be the same so now we're just going to go ahead and attach them again that's one page and then attach this that's another page and now the hard part is done. Now we can bring back our page if we want to check to make sure that it fits and it looks good. The other one is the same size, so it should be fine. And now we can go ahead and print them. If you're curious, one of the cards measures out to 3.049 by 1.743, which is a bit small, but it is a good wallet size. You can always do the same trick and preset the dimensions that you want your cards. You might just pro you'll probably just get a lot less cards per page. Moving on, we're just gonna go ahead and make it. And here is where there's another trick to it. Your first page can be right here, right at the corner. That is fine. Your second page will have to print out on the other corner. So move it all the way. Just press and hold it and move it all the way to the right side. So the first page will print out to the left side, all the way to this corner. And the second page will come out all the way to the right side in this corner. Now we hit continue and send to printer. And here I always use system dialogs just to make sure that I get a better quality and hit print. Here in the system dialogs, if I go to preferences, I already saved the setting. I use best map and this gives me the best quality I believe I could get. And now we can just go ahead, print and hit okay. So here my printer is done printing and this is what we have so far. Now we have to feed it back into the printer so it can print on the back side. So my printer goes like, like that. So I'm gonna feed it back in, facing up. Now here I'm back in my Cricut and I already put the paper back in. So I'm going to select my second page and print that one. And here we are, this is what our page looks like. If I flip it over, we have the back and the front. And as you can see, they line up. Now we are just gonna feed this into our Cricut and make sure that if you're placing this copy of it on top, this is the copy that you're gonna be cutting. Because if you place this on top and then you set to cut this one, it's gonna mess it up. So just choose one side. I don't know, I'm just gonna pick this one and place it right on. Now walking over to our Cricut and I'll just be loading this up and I have mentioned before that since this is 80 pound thick paper the normal cardstock will not cut through so I like to use plus bonded fabric. So once you're ready I'm just going to go to my computer make sure that this page is the one I'm selecting and then we can go ahead and cut. So here you can see I'm using the fabric plus and I'm clicking on the second page since that one is the side that's up on my Cricut. Okay, now it is done. And here we go. This is basically the big reveal. And as you can see, it printed front and back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As you can see, it's very easy to make and print your own business cards. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much.